The Bay 88.7 FM, Richard here with you, and I'm here to give you a bit of a community update. Of course, we always have wonderful things here happening in the community of Huntsville, Ontario. As it pertains to literature, I'm very pleased to announce that George E. Daniels is going to be making an appearance at the Huntsville Public Library on uh, June 12th, which is very exciting. Uh, uh, he's going to be joined by special guests Doug Tideman and Bruce Gowan, and I am even more pleased to have him here in the studio to discuss uh, his new book that he will be presenting uh, at this uh, uh, presentation at the Huntsville Public Library called George Works. So, hi, George. <laughs> hi there, Richard. Good afternoon. So, I obviously, you know, you're here, I assume, because you have uh, some connection to Huntsville. Am I, am I correct? Uh, well, it's more than some. It goes back a good number of years. I first came into this neck of the woods in the 50s. Uh, when I started out my working career as a bush pilot in northwestern Ontario and joined forces with one of my buddies, and we uh, had Muskoka air trails on Lake Vernon, which is just down the road here. And that was my first major experience, obviously, flying over and around this area. That's that's pretty interesting. Like you know, a lot of history there. And I think you and I were speaking before, and you also have a bit of history uh, with uh, radio here in Muskoka as well. You know, we're uh, CKAR, right? Well, and- th- th- this is really uh, deja vu for me. Uh, CKAR, uh, this radio station call signal first came into existence when uh, Norris McKenzie uh, launched the radio station, which was in those days AM in the late 50s. And of course, we had Muskoka air trails. I had a Cessna 180 on floats. Uh, locally here, he'd hired somebody who was, became quite famous and well known in the Huntsville area, such as Garth Thomas. And I came up with the bright idea with Garth that we fly traffic reports on Highway 11 between Gravenhurst and Huntsville on Friday evenings and Sunday evenings. So my book is called George Works, Lad to Leadership, The Making of a New Canadian. So the making of my radio career started right here in Huntsville when we flew traffic reports. So come and see me tomorrow afternoon at 5.30 in the Huntsville Library, and I'll tell you some funny ha-ha stories about radio and the early days of CCAR. That sounds exciting to me. I, I would certainly like to uh, to hear a little bit more about that. Um, uh, you have some special guests joining you, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Doug Tideman and Bruce Cowan. Who are these gentlemen? <laughs> well, uh, Doug Tideman and myself were some of the early days of aviation around here, and he's well known from being up around Bella Lake. And Doug and I have been friends for a long, long time, and he also was a pilot. Um, Bruce Gowan worked with me in the automotive manufacturing business in the uh, mid-70s where I stepped away from um, broadcasting and media and was in the manufacturing game with a company called Otaco, which was also a foundry. We also had a stamping facility. And when you come and see or or listen to me, I'll tell you all about uh, manufacturing in Aurelia, how we made bus seats and castings for the automotive world, such as rear axle pinion flanges is a non-glamorous subject, but one vital to the automotive industry. Again, it's all covered in my book, George Works. Um, another interesting thing that I found um, was uh, earlier we were speaking about um, a lot of people who have who've, uh, uh, seen your book and, and uh, you know, seen some interesting things about your life, this, this autobiography. And uh, um, if I may, I wanted to, uh, to quote here from uh, 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 Roy McGregor. He's a Globe and Mail columnist and, uh, uh, you know. And very popular Huntsville icon yes and he has and he has the order of canada and he's you know also a multiple award-winning author so he said uh, if a cat has nine lives george daniels seems to have had 90 this remarkable memoir is the stuff of movies war pranks adventure love tragedy triumph and remarkable successes in everything from business to charities my only beef is with the subtitle it should be the making of a great canadian I think I think those are some some pretty strong words. <laughs> well, it's very nice of Roy to say that about me. He's a good friend. He was a speaker at our 
Andrew Daniels Fish Stock fundraiser at the Port Cunnington Lodge a couple of summers ago. Uh, he's a, a very well-known Huntsville native, and I'm honored to have his uh, super-duper remarks. Going back to my uh, manufacturing car- career and who is Bruce Gowan, he is also a very prominent Huntsville uh, a person. He was the secretary, treasurer, and comptroller of the Huntsville Foundation for the Arts for a good number of years. And he worked with me at Otaco. So whether it's him, uh, Doug Tideman, or Pat Hurley, when you attend an author's presentation, it's sometimes standard procedure to have friends of yours read one or two paragraphs out of the book. So I'm going to ask these fellows to, uh, uh, tease me and embarrass me by reading one or two paragraphs out of the book. There are tw- 12 sections of the book, Richard, so a person doesn't have to start at the beginning of the book. They could isolate out a center of the book if they like. Uh, the book retails at uh, uh, major uh, booksellers online, Amazon, Google, Indigo Chapters. It's listed on all of those platforms, including iTunes. And anybody who comes to the presentation tomorrow afternoon, 530, the Huntsville Library and buys my book for $35, which by the way is a discount from its regular retail uh, list. If they have uh, an iPhone uh, device, I will give them a code to get my book for their iPhone. Uh, which is worth about 10 bucks. So they'd get a bonus. Uh, so come and have a fun time. The presentation is at 5.30 in the afternoon on the Huntsville Library. Um, Courtney Legro and uh, the Huntsville Library people, I'm indebted to them for uh, allowing me to use their facilities and have me host uh, this publication called George Works Lad to Leadership, The Making of a New Canadian. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, there's a lot there and there's a lot of local uh, stuff to, for people to dive into. And Richard, I thank you very, very much for having me on air with you this afternoon. And I thank you for your time, George. That Once again, that's Georgie Daniels uh, talking about his new autobiography, George Works, Lad to Leadership, The Making of a New Canadian, and he'll be presenting it on June 12th at 5.30 p.m. at the Huntsville Public Library. Thanks, George. Thank you, Richard.